The Brecknock, Calliance and Tarosa fields, collectively known as the Browse Resources, are located offshore, 425 kilometres north of Broome in Australia's northwest. With growing recognition of an LNG supply shortfall by the early 2020s, the Browse to Northwest Shelf Reference Case is well positioned to deliver a cost-effective development and meet increasing LNG demand. Based predominantly on proven technologies, the reference case includes two floating gas production storage and offloading facilities, or gas FPSO, and will deliver around 10 million tonnes of gas to the existing Northwest Shelf infrastructure per year. Covering a combined area of approximately 1,000 square kilometres, the three fields, Tarosa, Brecknock and Calliance, represent Australia's largest untapped conventional gas resource. Wells would be developed with a combination of well types, including variant big bore wells, for high deliverability reservoir areas. Recovery will include best-in-class subsea infrastructure, Subsea trees will be clustered around manifolds located at several drill centres across the three fields. In order to manage hydrate and wax formation during shutdown and startup events, the production flow lines between the subsea manifolds and the gas FPSO facilities will use active heating technologies. The entire subsea development will include around 70 kilometres of flow lines and umbilicals. Dynamic flexible risers will connect the seabed infrastructure to two permanently moored gas FPSOs 600 metres above via a geostationary turret mooring system. The system is designed to withstand severe weather scenarios, including cyclones and the associated vessel motions. The turret mooring system allows weather vaning in harsh weather, with the gas FPSOs naturally rotating so the bow faces the weather direction. The two gas FPSOs will be separated by a distance of 85 kilometres, one situated over the Tarosa field and the other between Brecknock and Calliance. The gas FPSOs will include an acid gas removal unit that strips impurities from the gas and the export compression modules that provide the pressure for the gas to travel via the pipeline to existing northwest shelf infrastructure. Approximately every three weeks, tankers will offload condensate directly from the gas FPSOs. A Browse to Northwest Shelf reference case includes construction of an approximate 900 km multi-diameter pipeline to existing Northwest Shelf infrastructure. The export pipeline would take approximately two years to manufacture and one year to lay. Developing Browse through existing Woodside operated infrastructure has the potential to deliver a globally competitive project to the benefit of title holders, infrastructure owners, governments and the local community. Browns could deliver economic and social benefits in Western Australia by the mid-2020s and make a material contribution to energy security for the next 30 years or more.